welcome back. This is Butler Scuba with a bonus episode of Let's Play Metroid. When we last left off, I beat the game. We are going to continue beating the game today, but I want to show off first how it is that can be done at least a little bit easier than it is just starting from scratch. So let's start the game and you notice that there is a continue option. Should you die, you will be given a password so that you can continue from where you were, kind of. Uh, if memory serves me correctly, you only get 30 health and I do not believe you get all your missiles back, but you do get a portion of them. In order to move around this screen, you have to hit the select button, which has always been a little weird for me, but uh, the password that you can get can be inputted here at the password screen. The password is going to be long and complicated. There are 24 slots that you can fill it in. I don't even really want to count how many characters can go in each slot and yes the dash and the space are two different characters then you press start here and you can continue on thankfully a lot of people have put passwords out on the internet so that I can not just continue from their last save and get the endings that I want to show off with a combination of those and an invincibility code so I don't really have to try, we will be able to show off all of the endings. Let's start with the worst one. Should beating the game take you over 10 hours, which is really not all that crazy considering how open world and secretive this game is, this is the ending you'll get. You will always get the same little screen here, Apparently there is an other Metroid, they don't know how to spell fulfilled correctly, that's fine. The ending is, is good for the time, but... Samus, what are you gonna do? Oh, Samus is very, very disappointed in our work. We need to do it so much faster than the 10 hours that we did it in. And that's the ending that we get, should it take you longer than 10 hours, once again, the worst ending in the game. I'll meet you at the next worst ending. Should you beat the game between 5 and 10 hours, you do get this ending. I actually had to use a password generator for this one. The ones online didn't work, but we have fulfilled our mission yet again. We will pray for a true peace in space. That is apparently our goal. But do we get better than the facepalm from the last time? That is the real question. This time we get a hand raise. Our hand raised in victory, I assume. Samus acknowledges that we did it, apparently. And that's the ending that you get. Once again, five to 10 hours. I will re-show off the one that I got normally doing the game next, the third ending, the middle ending. Should you beat the game in three to five hours, this is the ending you will get, the same one that I got normally doing the game. I thought rather quickly, but apparently not even close to rather quickly. Uh, once again, we have fulfilled the mission, and we get more than just a little bit of acknowledgement from Samus. This time we do get to see Samus's face. And for those that do not know, you might be a little confused by this other than the bright red that shoots out at you, you might not know what to make of that. Samus, do you just have long hair? Well, let's find out more with the second best ending in the game. Should you beat the game in one to three hours, which I would say is possible if you know what you're doing and motor, you do get this ending which is of course an upgrade and we will get to see more of Samus today. Pray for a true peace in space. Just just the one piece that that will cover all of space unless that other metroid gets out, the other one. And for this we get Samus in a leotard, and it is now beyond any doubt. Samus is indeed a girl. I'm sure many of you knew that. In fact, I'm sure all of you knew that, but that was revolutionary. You were playing a girl this whole time and didn't even know it. Oh, we still have one more ending to go. The best one, the one that is probably impossible unless you use some kind of password. Should you somehow 
with the use of a password system, beat the game in under an hour you will get the best ending in the game. It might be possible without the password system, but you have to be using some kind of glitch in order to get this done in under an hour. This game is too difficult without those upgrades. But should you get it done in less than an hour, you will get the best ending in the game. Samus in a bikini. And she'll wave to you. Very nice. This, of course, is a nod to the end of Alien, where you get to see Sigourney Weaver in her underwear, but that is not the end of what I want to show off in the game. Should you beat the game in less than three hours, get one of the two best endings, either a leotard or a bikini, and wait until the end of the credits and start a new game, you get an extra special bonus. Should you start the game over now, just by pressing start, you will spawn with Samus in a leotard. Now, I, I still have the cheats on, which is why, uh, or I used the password, which is why she's still in the uh, Varia outfit. I still have, you know, the ice beam and all her power-ups. I did turn the invincibility off, but that is the reason that she is not, uh, you know, the proper color here and has the green hair and all that. This is her Varia outfit. So we do have all the upgrades. As you can see, what's really weird about this is watching her go into the morph ball. That's just weird to me. How the hell does that work? It's one thing if you have like the armor doing it for you, but when I actually see that it's a real person in there, it's just weird. Uh, armorless Samus, as, as she is known, is functionally the same as a regular armored Samus in this game. There's really no difference other than the look. So if you were to work your ass off, learn how to beat this game in under three hours, you are rewarded with uh, kind of very tame pixelated porn, even though it's not really porn. You get the idea. You get pixelated sexy women on your screen for your hard work. And with that done, that is going to do it for this bonus episode of Let's Play Metroid. I've been Baller Scoob. I've been joined, as always, by the 8-bit sex symbol herself, Samus. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>